Hello, I'm Anand Satyanand and I'm pleased to add from New Zealand. Support and congratulations upon this present Pravasi Bharatiya Divas being staged in Sydney. The world population of people of Indian origin outside of India is more than 25 million. A great many of these people retain feelings of connection and pride in their Indian origin. To meet this, the Pravasi Bharatiya initiative of the Government of India has now for 10 years supported annual events in Indian cities. It has been made easy each year for more and more people to come and gather and enjoy the fruits of their common origin. This has been expressed in music, dance and food and in absorbing experiences of the modern day India. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, India's Prime Minister from 1947 until 1964, once wrote that life is like a game of cards. The hand you are dealt is determinism, the way you play it is free will. That seems an apt way to describe this policy of India reaching out to those with whom it is connected by blood and by sentiment. Much of the success of Pravasi has relied on a two-way process, with overseas people of Indian origin being encouraged to express their views of India's past and present direction. In a speech after receiving one of the first Pravasi Samana Awards in January 2003, the former Commonwealth Secretary General and Indian of Guyanian origin, Sir Sridharth Ramphal, said that India, over a period of 150 years, had sent flowers and seeds from its trees across the oceans to places where some of those seeds had flourished in other settings, retaining a number of original characteristics, but developing new and adapted ones as well. Thus, thousands of people of Indian origin have to date connected with their roots. They have travelled to India on grounds of wanting to visit and tour, of investment or of providing philanthropy towards projects. In each year, a three-day event has been staged, centred on 9 January, the day in 1915 that Mahatma Gandhi returned to India after two decades' absence in the United Kingdom and South Africa. He had accepted an invitation to return to India and to join those seeking to gain freedom from colonial authority. Pravasi is a word uh, which has a number of meanings in Hindustani, migrant, bird of passage, expatriate and visitor. All of these words may be said to have applied to Gandhi as he landed in Mumbai to begin the Satyagraha movement in the land of his birth in a journey towards independence that would take another 30 years. The first 50 years after independence saw India remaining inwardly focused to achieve self-sufficiency and forward movement. During the 1990s came significant advancement in many fields. This was so particularly in agriculture but also in manufacturing and led to a turnaround in financial fortunes, unleashing a new confidence that caused political leaders to look outwards and seek advantage from connecting with overseas trends in many areas. Instead of being a client state of more wealthy and powerful nations, India had fashioned itself into a player at the same tables. The success of PBDs in India has been followed by repeating them in recent times in cities like Vancouver, Cape Town and Singapore. They have each in themselves been successful ventures, paving the way in 2013 
for another and first South Pacific Pravasi to be held in Sydney. This one will no doubt be of interest to, to substantial numbers of Indians in Australia, New Zealand and Fiji. The program will involve personalities from India joining those from this part of the world in a celebration of common origins. All of this development has been promoted on a regular basis by the Indian government through the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs. Congratulations on being a participant in the Sydney Pravasi Bharatiya. I hope that you have a memorable time that you will look back on warmly. If that happens, you will join many thousands of others who have had the same experience.